After successfully launching the RS660 in October 2020 and garnering praise for the versatile platform, Aprilia has set its sights on naked bike domination. On January 7th of 2021, Aprilia officially introduced the 210660 and had the world been waiting for this. But before we take a look at the 2021 20660, if you're new here and you want to watch some amazing motorcycle related content and all the new bike releases, be sure to hit that subscribe button. What better way to kickstart 2021 than with 2020's most hyped sport bike's stripped down counterpart. The 20660 takes all the good stuff the RS660 has to offer and makes it even more accessible. The Tuono shares the same liquid-cooled DOHC 660 parallel twin with its fully fed relative but loses a few ponies in the process. Most likely a result of the shorter final drive for improved streetability, the naked sport bike still manages to churn out a class-leading 95 horsepower. Aprilia hasn't listed a torque figure just as yet, but the Tuono retains the same 270 degree firing order that makes the RS so visceral yet agreeable. Comparatively, the Yamaha MT-07 is weighted at around 75 horsepower for 406 pounds, the all-new Triumph Triton makes 80 horsepower for 418 pounds, and the Kawasaki Z650 makes an estimated 68 horsepower for 412 pounds. So the Tuono definitely has an edge over its competition in the market. Like the RS, the Tuono's power plant also acts as a stress member, helping to preserve the 403-pound curb weight and desirable power-to-weight ratio. Though Aprilia carved away body panels to put the forward-facing parallel twin on full display, they still implemented the RS660's double-fairing aerodynamics to pull even more engine heat away from the rider. The windscreen is shortened proportionally, but the Tuono keeps the distinct triple LED design that made the RS so attractive. However, the smaller headpiece makes them look oversized in comparison, giving the Tuono a busier front end design. At the back, the Tuono gets a proper pillion seat like a civilized street bike for some additional daily life appeal. Aprilia also does away with yoke-integrated clip-ons for a clamp-mounted high handlebar that pushes the rider more upright. Beyond the bars, the same full-color TFT found on the RS660 makes the jump along with five ride modes, wheelie control, adjustable engine braking and traction control. Aprilia refers to the Tuono 660 as a sport naked, but I'm sure most of you would agree with the fact that it sure doesn't look like a traditional naked bike. The main design difference between the RS and the Tuono is that on the Tuono, the fairing wraps around the engine instead of actually covering it, so I guess that's what makes it a naked bike according to Aprilia. The RS660's acid gold paint job carries over for the Tuono, but the concept black and iridium grey paint schemes are specific to this model. The latter trims will retail for $10,499, while acid gold will command a $10,699 price tag, making these the most affordable new Aprilias on the market. Will Aprilia 660 rise at the top of the crowded middleweight naked class? Let us know what you think in the comments down below, and we can't wait to see what else is in store for the 660 family, perhaps a 660 adventure bike from Aprilia. Now, that might be a big winner for the Italian brand, let's just wait and watch. Hope you liked the video, if so please hit that like button and if you'd like to catch more motorcycle news and content like this, please consider subscribing to the channel and I'll catch you in the next one.